Mukhtar Bel Mukhtar was one of the most significant Al Qaeda commanders in North Africa. He's been fighting in that region for the best part of two decades. First as a radical Islamist in Algeria's civil war, and more recently as an Al Qaeda figure. He broke away from Al Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb to form his own organization last year. And in January, he carried out the attack on the Algerian oil and gas installation, which led to the capture of hundreds of hostages and 37 of whom were killed, mainly in the disastrous rescue mission. The fact that he has now been killed, or so it appears, would be a significant blow to his organization and will call into question their operational effectiveness. It's also interesting to look at where he was supposedly killed. It seems to have happened in northern Mali. Now, France launched an operation earlier this year which succeeded in recapturing the three main cities in northern Mali from al-Qaeda and its allies. In response to that, a lot of senior al-Qaeda figures fled further north to, to Mali's frontier with Algeria, which is bang in the middle of the Sahara Desert and spanned by a mountain range. That seems to be where Mukhtar Bel Mukhtar was finally tracked down. And that area now seems to be the last haven for al-Qaeda commanders in the Sahara.